Hello everybody, it's Marie from Skeletal Rama again. Welcome back to my channel, Facharash. So um, we are going to continue doing construction in this one. We're going to do the gable floor, which is just this little bit that's going to be under this pointy business here. Um, and then we're going to do the start on some of the bay windows, this base part here, and get the attic wall in place. So we will see you at the end of that. Okay, so we got the floor nice and set up now. Um, so I'm going to do the next part of it, which is going to be the gable floor. Okay, so this is the piece I was talking about here, gable floor. And so since it's going to be here, most of it's going to be the ceiling of this room. So I went ahead and painted it the ceiling color. So we're going to glue this here and um, bring the dividers over to, to kind of help support it while it dries. So first thing I want to do is get some tape prepared on this just to make it easier to um, you know put in there when we're ready if I can get the glue it's a new roll of painters tape so there we go all right so I'll just put some here leave a nice long tail on either end all right there's that part there so I'm going to go ahead and take the dividers Okay, get the dividers and I'm going to set them under here. Supports. Okay. Just kind of set them there, I guess. Fine. Be happy. Um, once we get the roof there, then we'll, you know, they'll sit under there easier, I guess. So on here, we're just going to take, oopsie, they're the same. We're going to take and put glue on this side here. And then we're going to line it up right here. And so it says to take any flat panel to help lining it up easier. So we'll use one of these dividers because again, they're like the multi-purpose tool for all the things. Okay. So get our glue out. I have to switch to my backup bottle here pretty soon. So I get my glue out. So I want to do, of course, the white side for the ceiling down because that would just be something I would do right there. All right, so I've got the glue. Hopefully that's in the shot. All right. Spread it out nice and even. So I'm going to sit it here. I'm going to line it up. And I'm going to take this panel here so that it kind of extends this out. So I can line it up that way too. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and put my tape to the inside on either side. Wow, I've got a lot of tape on there. Okay, so we're sitting that there. Come up here, I'm gonna wipe this. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure that this lines up flat here and flat underneath. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna pull, just like we did with the floor for these, same exact thing. I kind of don't understand why they just didn't have you do this when you did the other part, but I also don't make dollhouse kits. I just follow instructions so, sometimes. Okay, there we go. So we got this nice and lined up here. We have this here for support. And just to be on the safe side, let me get a book. I'll sit this down. Okay, I'll put this here so I've got two of them. Might as well. And it's not sitting like down on them yet, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this parchment paper and let those fall over because they can just rot. Okay, so I'm going to take this here, get these straight again, and I'm going to extend this out. So I want to make sure that this is going down the way it should also. Because in theory, you would think these guys would be sticking in there pretty good, but I've got a lot of wiggle room there. So I just want to make sure that these aren't going up. Oops, seriously, where they should be. I don't know how we can do that. We tape it. Duh. All right. This is 
course we want it to be nice and tight to this, but we do want it to not create a gap for us here when we go to put all of our, you know, bay windows and all that on. So I'm going to take this and anchor it to this as well, just so I'm sure it's staying nice and straight. Oh, take the bottom part down too, you be like that. And we'll do the same with this here. Let's make sure kind of pull it down a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to slide these over here. Because I just want to make sure that this is going to stay at a flat plane. I don't want it to accidentally be up at all. Okay, so we're going to let that um, get together and then I got to figure out a way to show you all the next part. So I'll be right back. All right, so now while we wait for the um, gable floor over there to dry, we are going to put together our first little section of walls for the bay windows. So what you're going to need is those parts that are called bay window side base and they have a rim running along the bottom of them. It's the easiest way to identify. And then we have bay window front base. Again, there's two of these. They both have a little groove at the bottom. And then we have bay window front top. Is that the right one then? That might not be the right one. Hang on a second. Okay, so according to the instructions here, um, it's the same as the top bay walls. So why the hell did you call it that? All right, what do I know? It's not. Okay. <laughs> they didn't call it this because this was this thing. They called it this because this is another thing. There's only two of those. This one, there's six of them. So it's these ones right here. Okay, they're the same um, width as these smaller ones. So that's going to be the way you tell apart these ones with no groove on the back. There's six total of these. Um, and they're going to be the same width as the shorter of the two of these because it's a side also and this is a side. Okay. Okay, so anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to lay these out. So this is your front here. Okay, and we need to do one for the left side and one for the right side. So we're going to take this other piece with the groove, put it on this side for one, put it on that side for the other. And then we're going to make sure we have our um, boards going in the right direction. One over here, one over here. Okay, so these are going to line up correctly. So what we're going to do is we're going to line them up at the top. And then when we get to the front, I'll show you kind of how they go because um, we'll do it once they're taped. So I'm going to just take these and flip these like so because we're going to do the same thing we did for the... Um, the base where we did those pieces with the bevels together, they're gonna to have us tape these together first. So we're gonna line them all up at the top. Okay, so your groove is right here, and then this is your top. So I'm gonna line these up like so, and then we're gonna go ahead and tape them together, preferably straight, which is the opposite of what that was. Line up all your little baseboards and everything. We're going to leave some at the end of each, so that way we can use that to um, attach them also. Okay, so I've got this here. Rub that in real good. I'm also going to put a small piece. Oh, let's see. I'm going to do a smaller piece here and here along this join and a smaller piece in here, just to make the piece a little more stable when I go to, to put it on there. Okay, another big long piece for this one. And then I'm going to do the same on this too. Put one small one there. Oops. Don't want to go over the edge of that, really. There we go. So now these are ready to put like this with the bevels together and then they'll go on the front. Okay, so 
so I will switch over to what I'm now calling the Cat Tree 2000 uh, filming rig, which is, i.e. I drug the Cat Tree out in the middle of the floor. See the only thing high enough. I'll show you guys a, a shot of that in a sec. Um, and bring it around so we can see this from the front. A bit of behind the scenes for you. I thought you guys would enjoy my uh, Cat Tree 2000, which is my uh, place I'm filming from because I don't have anything tall. So yeah, there we go. Hopefully it'll work. And uh, I'd like to introduce my um, assistant director of photography who has decided that all of a sudden he cares that the cat tree exists. So cats just want to watch the world burn, don't they? So I have brought this over here um, nice and close so that you can really sort of see how this is going to fit. Partially because all of a sudden, now that it's in the middle of the floor, all of the cats care about the cat tree because that's just the way they are. And it's just so irritating. So anyways, so I've got this over here so you can see. I'm sure you saw one of them sneak by just now. Um, so I'm going to show you how these go together. So what we're going to do is we're going to put glue on um, the bevels here and then we're going to push those together and then this is going to sit here. So you've got the two sides that have the, um, the groove here which is going to go down over the side and of course this doesn't have a groove here because it needs to go flat to the floor and in the instructions they say that these are going to be wider than the walls and that you are to line them up and make sure they're even on the inside okay so what we're going to do is I'm going to put glue here and here 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 and here and on both of these ends and then we'll put it in here and we will tape it in place um, I did notice, of course, that with this like that, this end is unpainted. So, like I said, we're going to have to go around and, and paint some of the little weird stuff, but we won't know that it's going to be visible really until we get the house put together. So, all right, so I'm going to put it on moderate fast forward and I'm going to do this like. these down as well. So we'll make sure the surface is nice and level with the bottom. And it's funny because I was looking at all the pictures and it made it look like this edge of the, the base people had painted to match the house color. Now I know why it's that color. <laughs> the things you learn, you know? taped within an inch of its life. So what I'm going to do is turn the camera off and I will do the same thing to this other side. Then we'll come back and join you when we are ready for our next spot. Oh, here, here comes one of the miscreants now. And there he goes. All right, so I'm hand holding this part. So we've got the bay window in the front and the bay window in the back. And then the piece they use to recommend checking the fit of it is your um, porch cornice. So if you put this here and it lines up perfectly with those, then your walls are where they're supposed to be. Okay. So our next um, piece here that we're going to do is going to be the attic. Um, and hopefully I won't be too muffled. Um, I'm having to wear this, not because I'm hiding from the camera, but because somebody did a bunch of spray painting in the next room and it's, yeah, I can't breathe. So... I think I should probably put this on. I don't think it's going to help too much, but at least it cuts down a little bit on the fumes and things. So anyways, what we're going to do now is we are going to set up our attic wall and glue it down. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take this gable triangle and you're going to tape it to the attic wall. It's just temporary. So I went ahead and grabbed the one that I haven't painted yet because I noticed that this particular uh, painter's tape that I got from Harbor Freight, um, it's a little stickier than the other stuff. So in a couple places when I took it off of the bay windows, it actually took a tiny bit of paint. So 
We'll have to um, touch that up when we touch up all the other weird stuff. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape this here nice and straight. And we're basically gonna be using this to line this up on this edge here. So take the tape and get away with just doing it like that, I think, on both sides. Should work just fine. Flip it over gently. And the other side. And then we will be using a different divider. Ooh, we're going to use an attic divider for this one because, of course, we're in the attic now, so the spacing is completely different than it is on the other floors. All right. I did put this on the right way, right? <laughs> so, point at the top. This is going up and down. Fairly sure that's right. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this and we're going to line it up at the very edge of our um, uh, gable floor that we had put on. So I'm going to do that. Um, and then I've got the attic divider. So not only is it larger, I'm not sure if you can see there's a, a bevel to it. I'm not sure if that's a camera or not. So hopefully it is. But anyways, so what we're going to do is we're going to lay this down over here. We're going to get our attic divider. I'm just going to put it kind of in the center here. Make sure it's lined up with the back. And we're going to just tape it down and we'll tape it to our um, attic piece, of course, when the time comes. So we're going to have to come around back for this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the tape here and have it come down at an angle this way. So hold it for a second. I'm going to do the same thing going the other way just to give it a little more. That's the same way, stupid. All right. <laughs> Let's try this the right way, shall we? Jeez. Okay. And then I'll kind of go over and under with this. It's really hard to uh, do with one of these things. Okay. Bring this around so it's straight. Actually, where's my other my other gable triangle to make sure this is straight? Okay. Actually, I'm gonna leave that there. That's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Okay, there's that. I'm gonna put a little bit of tape over here. Alright, there we go. Okay, so we're going to take our attic. We're going to line it up in the front and make sure it's nice and flat to the front. And then we're going to have the very end of this go to the very end of the side of the um, gable floor. Okay, cool. All right. So let's go ahead and put glue along this surface, just not on this gable triangle here. Okay, here we go. So yeah, having chemical sensitivities to stuff, it's not a good time being around spray paint anyway, but when it was done inside without the windows open for a few minutes. Makes a difference. Okay. Get my... All right. So again, here we go. We'll put this up here. We're gonna line up that end, make sure it's nice and straight. And we're gonna press down. Come along and we're gonna get our extra glue off the front. We'll worry about the back in a minute. Okay, and so what they've got you doing is they've got you taking tape and coming up and over and onto this. So we'll probably do that from both angles like I did on the back. We'll get extra tape just in case. So it's gonna go up in through that window, around and over onto our attic divider. I'm going to do the same thing for the other side, just to keep it up here and straight. So 
this direction here. Wrap that around. Then it's going to cross that other one and it's going to go to this side of the attic divider. Okay, so that's just keeping that nice straight up and down. Okay, so now to do the rest of this, we're going to have a piece of tape here in the front, making sure that's nice and flush. Go up under this porch. I'll do that with this window here too. Kind of hook it over the back for a little extra strength. Apply a little bit of pressure, pulling it down, and like so. And then one more on the other end. You want to get it kind of close to that edge. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to wipe off my extra glue from the back. Trying to keep it off that divider also. Okay. There we go. So we got our back, and I'm going to go ahead and do... Um, a couple pieces of tape just kind of as an L in the back here too. Just make sure it doesn't move anywhere. All right. Same thing here, especially like on this corner. Okay, here we go. A little bit more glue creeping out the front, so we'll take care of that real quick. And the voila. So that is the attic. So this we're going to leave to dry for quite some time because the only thing that's holding it on is this surface here for now until we, you know, do the rest of it. Um, so let me see if it would be in camera. And it is. Okay, so we've got a couple pieces that will be going on next and they are the supports. They're going to go on the bay window down here. But pretend we're talking to this one here because you can't see that one, right? So we have some supports that go on, you know, this way and this way here, um, and some corner pieces. The thing with that is, is they are going to have a window attached to them. Okay, so you've got an angled side, it's on the non-angled side. So just like with the other one, our windows are gonna go like so. Once we make our window frames, he's gonna be like that. Now this part here is going to be viewed from the inside. So you have two choices, you know, you can, well, you got a couple choices actually. You can paint it, you can wallpaper it, uh, no. Um, or you can do stain, which is what I'm gonna do to match this. So on the inside, that entire bay window assembly that comes around here that's not, this part is gonna be um, the stained wood. But from the outside, this needs to be one of the parts that's purple. So I'm going to now take us into the craft room with the desk, and we will figure out how to accomplish that with these. So see you guys in a minute. All right, so we are going to stop here. And in the next episode, it's going to be bay windows, bay windows, and more bay windows. We're going to get the majority of um, the, the structure of some of these bay windows. Um, taken care of. So we'll see you in the next one. Que me you. Bye.